there was a couple of labs that I went in and actually did the uh, the layered rules, the new R8020, which that's pretty neat. Uh, dynamic objects so that I can uh, talk to Azure and kind of get that dynamic list because right now it's a very manual process. Um, and then uh, another one was on migrating from 7730 and how you can kind of uh, collapse the rule base and get into the layered type of rules. So, uh, The dynamic objects has been one of the, the, the primary ones and uh, just the uh, ability to manage our uh, policies. We have a significant uh, policies and quite a few people in there at once. The ability to manage them uh, a little more dynamically has been very helpful. When we are only with R80.10 now, but the features which we are exploring is mainly on R80.20. So we are mainly looking forward to how we can incorporate more features which the checkpoint is giving us to into that. So we are also getting into the Office 365 platform. Oh, exactly. Yeah, so we are having, means we are looking forward for the dynamic objects. So identity awareness is also one of the key features which we are planning to integrate in our environment. So hoping that it will give us more opportunity to explore that. Uh, so now we have almost all our devices at uh, R8010. So next step will be of course R8020 and then also uh, see how we can work with the layers now because this is something new with uh, R80. I really love uh, database revision control or how revisions are handled in R80. I actually wrote a Checkmates article called uh, ch uh, uh, check, uh, R80 revision control, a visual guide that kind of laid that out and I really like being able to figure out who screwed something up uh, what they did and being able to revert it automatically. That's one of my favorite features of the new smart console.